Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny and today I'm here with my first month KDP income report and also how I started. Let's get straight into it. So this is my sales dashboard on KDP and a quick summary of when I started and how I started was I started on the 13th of September. So it's quite recent, I guess. And I actually was watching someone else's um, video on KDP and I was like, oh, there's this really cool thing where I uploaded, I upload books and interiors onto KDP and get royalties. Maybe I'll try that. So from the 13th, which is a Monday to I think continuously, I guess, I uploaded a few books a day um, and it, they all got first approved on the 17th of September. So that was like five days. I just want to kind of disclose this because I know that a lot of people are worried when their books don't get approved. And I was pretty worried when my book didn't get approved for more than two days. And I was like, what's happening? Like, are they never going to approve it? But I think the first time you upload books, it just takes time for Amazon to approve it. So for me, it took five days. I know for others, it took like nine days. Um, um, so just be patient, they will get approved. So on the 17th, that's when my books kind of went live or started getting approved. Um, I had, I think, maybe like 10 books at that stage and I just kept uploading books. And my first sale was actually made on the 1st of October. I'm just going to zoom in so you guys can see the dates better. Okay. So my first sale was on the 1st of October. I was super excited. I think at that point I had around 40 to 50 books. I can't really remember the exact number, but around that amount of books live. I made three sales and I was super excited. I literally told everyone, I was like, yay, I made like you know, $5 a four. I can't remember exactly, like $4. Um, so I was really excited about that and I told everyone, but the next day I didn't get any sales. So I got a bit disappointed again. But since then, I think I've been making at least one or two sales um, most days. On the 8th, I actually um, made my first hardcover book sale as well. But then you can see from then on, I kind of had days where I made no sales and that was, again, very disappointing. Um, but I, you know, had to go on. I continued making books. Um, but from like this week of October, I think the second week of October, um, I've been quite busy and even now I'm quite busy. So I don't think I'll be uploading as many books, but I will be trying to upload at least one book a day. So I, so from this week, I was quite busy, but and I also didn't see sales. And I was like thinking, oh, is it because I wasn't, I'm not uploading books? But then on the 13th, I actually hit a record of five paperback books, which was super exciting. But I did a bit of research and I realized that the sales dashboard gets updated when a book is actually shipped out to the customer. So I don't know if this record is because of books that customers bought here but wasn't shipped out here. So it kind of, you know, lagged and it all accumulated here. I'm not exactly sure um, behind like how everything functions, but just know that your dashboard does get upload, updated when um, your book is shipped out, not when the customer actually buys the book. So I made another sale on the 14th and um, no sales on the 15th. And today is the 16th, but I know I'm in Australia and I'm a day ahead of the US. So I think it's still the 15th right now, um, probably like maybe like 9, 10 p.m. Um, and no sales for 15th. Well, that's okay. Uh, I will talk about Marketplace probably in the other dashboards, but this is kind of like as total, total royalty. And I am going into the beta report. Here we are. Again, 21 books line chart, bar chart, like to be honest, I don't really go into the KDP reports beta dashboard because I think everything I need is already in my other dashboards. And the only tab I found, find really helpful is the orders tab, which again, this data you can kind of see here anyways, um, aside from how many books I have. Yeah. So let's go through the other dashboards and I want to talk about my thoughts on them. This is KDP champ. It syncs every hour. I will make a separate video um, on Kitty Champ, Book Report, and Data Sprouts, which is what I'm also using because I want to kind of go deep dive into them and talk about the pros and cons. Um, but yeah, I think KDP Champ is the most detailed one. It just gives you all of the data, how many hardcovers, how many paperbacks, um, daily average royalty, which is like $2. Uh, total amount I've earned <clears throat> in my first two weeks is $33.46. They also give you a projected gross royalties and this always changes depending on the day 
and how many books you actually sold on the day. Um, so right now it's $64.82. You can see again, total royalties, the ad spend I've spent, but I, yeah, I should actually disclose though. Um, I, during this period when it was really low, the sales, I got super scared and I made like a few ads but then I got scared again because I was getting impressions and like clicks, but no sales. Uh, I think it was like two clicks and, you know, I got super worried again. So I turned them all off. <laughs> yeah. So it's, uh, I think ads is something I'm actually going to research into and then study and then try in a few months. But right now I'm just focusing on organic sales. So none of this is from ads, uh, but I just wanted to really like to inform you guys that I tried, I turned it off within like, first two hours um and i haven't been doing any since then so yeah everything's organic sales yeah so 33 dollars and 46 cents okay, now kdp report the numbers are lower because it doesn't actually take into account my hardcover books i've tried refreshing the data for some reason they just don't include the hardcover sales i'm not quite sure why um but yeah that's something you guys no, before you use the book report as well. Earnings by book, as you can tell, I have around 170 books live. But all the numbers are quite different according to each dashboard. So, yeah, I don't know why. But, yeah, earnings by book, around, like, maybe 10, 10 books that actually make most of my sales out of my 170. And I think that's the case for most KDP authors. Like, they make a lot of books, but 90% of them don't get any sales. It's just the 10% that does. Um, so that's something interesting. And in terms of marketplace, 14 were from Amazon.com, 5 were from Amazon.com UK, and 1 was from Canada. So that was really exciting to see a Canada sale as well. And now I'm going to go to Data Sprouts. So Data Sprouts is actually found on this tab. You have to, I think, get the, the Chrome extension and then link the cookies or something. I will go through that later in my next video. But Data Sprouts report is something I find really helpful as well and it also gives you once it loads it gives you a monthly income uh, income estimate which I think is really helpful so it shows you like the daily earnings how many copies been sold I've earned thirty one dollars and eighty cents um so I've earned thirty one dollars and eighty cents and today's earning daily average and estimated income for October is sixty-five dollars and seventy-two cents. So it's quite similar to a KDP Champs estimate. So I just really wanted to share quickly about my, uh, you know, journey through KDP in the past month. And I know this is not the official month. Like some people might say, my official month is whole of October, not from mid September to mid October. But I did really want to share from the beginning and to show you guys that in the first two weeks I didn't make any sales. Um, and I think that's okay. Like some people don't make, they say they make sales in the first few days. Some people make sales, you know, after a month. So it really is different for everyone. I think it really depends on the niche that you publish in, um, your covers, your interiors. So all of these factors do, and the keywords, keywords that you put in obviously matters as well. Um, so don't get discouraged. Even if you're not making a sale, I think just keep uploading and one day you will get a sale. Yeah. So I didn't get any sales in the first two weeks as well. Um, yeah, and that was kind of my journey. And I do want to upload another video at the end of October to show my first official month income report to show you guys if it went up or if it went down. I will be quite transparent. So if you do have any questions, please ask. Um, if you guys did enjoy this content, then please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks so much and see you next time.